Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> Revenge of Red Mantle the Chinchilla, Part Three. Master Red Mantle, it, it's terrible, just awful. Early in the morning, Doofus the Mole rushed to Red Mantle the Chinchilla, sweating heavily and out of breath. Some, something bad. Oh dear, the suspense is killing me. What is it, man? Come on, spit it out. Red Mantle the Chinchilla stamped his foot in anxiety. <sighs> Something bad has happened! A droid went into the Forestville Police Department posing as a reporter! Hey! You scared me getting all worked up! Isn't that a good thing? A droid never fails to surprise me. He got into the police station on such short notice? Looks like our plan for revenge is proceeding right on schedule! As Red Mantle spoke, he picked up the cup in front of him and took a leisurely sip of hot tea. But Sheriff Labrador saw through his disguise! <laughs> <laughs> what? Red Mantle spit the tea out from his mouth in shock, and the tea directly landed in Doofus's face. Oh, jeez! And on top of that, a droid crashed into a tree while trying to escape, and he's still, uh, still unconscious. Unconscious? A droid is a good-for-nothing bum. He can't even handle such a small task. But Master Red Mantle, before a droid fainted, he sent a text message full of information about Sheriff Labrador. Hmm? Red Mantle took the phone from Doofus, glanced at the message, and instantly beamed with joy. Oh, holy moly! I knew a droid wouldn't let me down. Even up to when he fainted, he was still focused on completing his mission. You should follow his example, Doofus. Yes, yes, Master, I will try my best. Red Mantle looked carefully at the message from a droid. Sheriff Labrador gets up at 6.30 a.m. every morning. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to wheel village tomorrow morning to buy biscuits. Red Mantle's eyes lit up at the sight of the note about biscuits. Sheriff Labrador is going to Wheat Village tomorrow morning to buy biscuits. Ooh, I know how to deal with Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> at once, Red Mantle grabbed a map of Forestville and marked the location of Sheriff Labrador's house and that of the Wheat Village. Look, Doofus, according to the map, it's a long way from Sheriff Labrador's house to Wheat Village. He needs to go to Forestville Station first to take a bus. There are two roads from his house to the bus stop. One is Sunflower Road and the other is Strawberry Road. All we need to do is set a trap on Strawberry Road and wait quietly for Sheriff Labrador to step into it. But... How can you be sure he'll take Strawberry Road? What if he takes Sunflower Road? <laughs> it's simple. All we have to do is find a way to block Sunflower Road. Then Sheriff Labrador will be forced to take Strawberry Road. Red Mantle said, smiling in satisfaction. Whoa, Master Red Mantle is the best. <laughs> The next morning, Sheriff Labrador got up at 6.30 a.m. He quickly finished washing his face and brushing his teeth, had breakfast, and ended his morning routine by looking in the mirror and adjusting his police uniform. He completed each step in one fluid motion. Time to go to Wheat Village and buy some biscuits. Sheriff Labrador walked out of the house with a carefree look on his face. Um, Sunflower Road or Strawberry Road? Aha! The sunflowers should be in bloom by now. I'll walk down Sunflower Road and enjoy the beautiful sunflowers. So Sheriff Labrador headed towards Sunflower Road. However, Sheriff Labrador had not taken more than a few steps before he saw ahead in the distance a tall warning sign standing in the middle of Sunflower Road, on which was written in big crooked letters, Construction ahead on Sunflower Road. Sheriff Labrador, please take Strawberry Road. 
Sheriff Labrador was completely confused after seeing the warning. Sheriff Labrador, please take Strawberry Road. Looks like someone wants me to take Strawberry Road. A flicker of doubt appeared in Sheriff Labrador's eyes. Then he turned and headed towards Strawberry Road, pretending to know nothing. Along the road, Sheriff Labrador texted Officer Doberman quietly. Immediately after Sheriff Labrador's leaving, a voice filled with excitement rang out from the grass along Sunflower Road. Master Red Mantle, we did it, we did it! Sheriff Labrador is heading towards Strawberry Road. 